Hello my beautiful Libras and welcome to your love reading. We're going to see what is coming towards you. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, comments, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and um, I was going to say and surprises, so maybe some of you may get a surprise love message. But thank you so much for your support and subscribe to my channel, I appreciate you. If any of you would like to book a personal reading or for anything else, the info is down below in the description box, okay? And remember, the energies can go by some verses, so just take what resonates, which is gender, switch roles, do what you gotta do, and leave the rest, okay? Okay. Libra gang gang, what's good? Okay, what is good? Let's see, so, oh, oh, oh. This one's a fallout, do I wanna take that? No, it's it's the breakup, separation, heartache, and freedom. So for some of you, you could be going through a breakup right now, maybe somebody's separated and they're feeling some type of way, okay? But we wanna do, you know, we want, Give us better energy, please, and thank you. You know what I mean? Oh. Okay, so let's just see. Okay, so the divine was like, I said, what the fuck I said. <laughs> so, as we said, the breakup, okay? And we have the first time at the bottom of the deck, which reads vulnerability, intimacy, and butterflies, okay? So for some of you, um, now, if you are broken up, because, you know, it is Mercury retrograde, okay? So I feel like a lot of exes are going to be in their feelings. You could be the ex, okay? I feel like somebody wants to be vulnerable with you. This could, this may be the first time someone actually, um, I want to say feels the pain of the breakup, okay? Because we do have the long distance lovers underneath, which reads like longing. So I feel like someone is longing for you, Okay, maybe for some of you, you broke up with someone because they wasn't very vulnerable, like they didn't open up, you know, maybe you didn't feel safe with this person. Okay, but let's just get some more energy because what the fuck is going on? Okay, for others of you, you could be in a relationship right now. Maybe it's your first ever breakup with this person or just in general. Yeah, look, listen, the card just came out again. The long distance lovers, it says love, love from afar, longing and travel. So for some of you, you could be dealing with someone that's at a distance from you. It doesn't have to be that far away. It could be like they don't live in the, t the same um, town, city, okay? Or maybe they live a few hours away from you. For some of you, it's in a completely different country, okay? If it's not, it just means that there's distance between you, but somebody's really longing for you, okay? I feel like somebody wants to come and try travel to see you. I'm also getting something about astro traveling as well. I'm getting for some of you, the love may still be strong because this is kind of like my... Um, our love trans transcends through space and time card, okay? So I feel like even though you've broken up with someone, even though you're separated from them, they really do um, still love you or still miss you. Well, this is you, okay? So we have the phone call that wanted to come out, which reads communication, FaceTime, and we need to talk. Yeah, so I feel like somebody's going to call you. Somebody wants to talk to you. I feel like somebody wants to get back together. I was going to say somebody could be calling to discuss that they want to break up with you, but not with the long distance lovers in the middle. Now, for some of you, maybe you are with someone that's at a distance. You're just like, I can't really do this anymore. Like, I can't be doing this FaceTime date and things like that. So just goodbye and good dear. Or you could be saying, you know what? We can continue this if you book me a ticket, <laughs> okay? Or if you come and see me. I mean, it's that simple. We have the sympathy, the sympathy, the symphony, <laughs> which says love songs, feelings, and sensitivity. Yeah, someone's feelings are deep. Someone is feeling some type of way. I feel like someone listens to love songs and they just, oh. I feel like someone listens to love songs and they think about you, Libra. Oh, this is you. Okay, now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the person's pain. Okay. <sighs> yeah, someone's heart is really aching. This is really sad. I mean, some of you may feel free. I don't know, but with the symphony at the bottom of the deck, yeah, and then we got the... The best friends underneath that, which is friendly advice, another perspective and confiding. So I feel like somebody could be talking to someone about you, trying to figure out what to do, maybe how to get you back. Now, I didn't, um, I couldn't find my other love cards, my love deck. So, um, one second, I think I've got, I've only got what they want to say to you. So I'm just going to be using those in the tarot. So we're just going to go straight in with the tarot. I could use other oracle decks, but I don't want to. Let's go with the tarot and then we'll get a message from this person, okay? So please clarify the breakup. So I'm hearing less is more. You know, you can get more information by doing less or using less things. You don't need a, a, a lot of, you know. So maybe that's how somebody feels about you. Like the Divine Feminine wanted to flip over. The Empress, that's you. Maybe somebody... um. 
I'm just getting someone's realizing that all they need is love, all they need is you. They don't need a lot of other things or a lot of, other, of um, like attention or things like that. So maybe somebody kind of took your love for granted or something. Or again, this could be you. Please clarify the breakup. Yeah, okay, the seven of wealth. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, so you could have significant Taurian placements or Aries. We have the page of passion at the bottom of the deck, yeah. So I feel like someone is literally waiting for like some news from you or for a sign or like some confirmation or something. But someone's very much attracted to you still, okay? But I feel like someone spends a lot of time thinking about the breakup and what caused it, okay? I feel like somebody may regret that they didn't invest in you or they didn't spend enough time with you. Okay, maybe somebody didn't really take you seriously. Maybe you were moving too slow for somebody as well. Or you could have been dealing with somebody that was quite impatient. But I feel like that's what somebody... Um, I also feel like it's been a long time since you've broken up with someone. It could be like between seven weeks and seven months. Okay. I'm also getting something may happen in seven days. The number seven is very significant. Please clarify the oh okay oh I was gonna say please clarify the long distance lovers and guess what flew right on top of it and I didn't even see the lovers so we're just gonna keep that so yeah like I said I feel like the love between you and another person is just like undeniable you know and it's funny because Mercury retrograde is now and you know Mercury is ruled by Gemini Gemini rules the lovers card. So I feel like somebody really does want to communicate with you. I feel like someone is like kind of lost without you or they just feel like you are their person. Like you were literally sent from the heavens above to be with them. But I mean, it's like, well, then why did we break up? Like, do you know what I mean? That's, that's, I just heard someone say that. You know. Because I mean, it's true though. It's like people will be longing for you and shit when they're not with you. But when they're with you, don't treat you correctly. Cha. yeah transformation some of you just like nah man just keep it where it is it's ended and it ended for a fucking reason for others of you i feel like somebody has transformed i feel like the ending the breakup has really kind of um you know yeah the judgment somebody wants another chance we have two major arcanas here this is on top of the phone call so somebody wants to call you to tell you that they want another chance they've really been looking at themselves i feel like someone had to look in at a mirror looking at the mirror and look at on yourself our maybe somebody was judging you in the relationship but i'm getting that somebody wants to call you for a second chance they want to resurrect this relationship it's not dead it's not over it's not over for somebody okay hmm yeah they want to reach out we have the free of passion at the bottom of the deck so again someone at a distance I feel like someone sees you in their future. Yeah, this is what they see when they see, they look at their future. The Empress of Passion. So they have a lot of passion for you. For some of you, you could have Leo, Sagittarius or Aries placement. Someone finds you very sexy, very attractive. Okay. They see you as well as somebody who's very confident. Somebody knows that you're confident with or without them. Okay, I thought, you know, hmm. I was going to say, I feel like somebody, how can I say, um, not belittles your confidence, but somebody like, um, I feel like when you're with someone, you don't feel valued. But when you're not with them, this is how you are. This is how they see you. Yeah, because we have the two of wisdom and, um, underneath that. So it's almost like some of you are like, I don't really know about that. I'm going to have to think about it real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, because with the fallen angel, I feel like you may feel like someone is toxic or they have toxic habits. You know, there was a saying that I posted one time and it was, um, you could love a monster. It can even love you back, but it doesn't change its nature okay but i'm not seeing any negative cards here apart from the breakup i just feel like someone is like i said they've been thinking a long time about the breakup about how much they love you and somebody really wants another chance i'm hearing like they want a second chance to make a first impression so i do see somebody reaching out here and i feel like somebody's gonna um you know be very sensitive you know to your feelings as well as their own like somebody really wants to express how they feel somebody may also do that through a song you could be dealing with a musician as well, somebody who likes to sing, or maybe you do. So somebody has a hard way of, um, you know, expressing how they feel. They may say like, you know what, can you listen to this song and listen to this verse or this track or this part of the song? Because this is how I feel about you, okay? Maybe somebody may write a song about you as well. Oh, that is so romantic. 
Okay, but it's almost like I'm seeing somebody like looking at a letter here as well or like writing down the things that they're not going to do. Like it used to say thou shall not, but I need to like reprint those cards and like get a gloss finish on them. Okay, so yeah. Oh, we had a minute. Good God. It says you're the one that I want, only you. So yeah, I mean... And you say you love me, but after all that happened, now I doubt it. Exactly. That's what I was feeling. Because the lovers card, I really do feel like someone really, like, I feel like someone feels like you're inseparable. Like, it's a very sensual, sexy, psychic type of love. It's a divine love too. But I feel like some of you just, I don't know about all of that. I saw that with the two of swords. You're just like, I don't know. Like, after everything that happened between us, I doubt that very much. So I feel like somebody was very disrespectful to you, Libras. You know what I mean? I just, I, I feel like it's more than a phone call. That's not really going to cut it, you know? Mm. Yes, I am jealous. Yes, I am possessive. So that could be the um, devil card that we saw. Oh, wait a minute. I feel like the camera moved. Did it? Maybe it didn't. It could just be me. And then it says, your beauty is so unique. I don't know what it is about you that keeps pulling me towards you. But oh my, yeah, like I said, I feel like someone is very much attracted to you. Libras, okay. So let's just get one more card. I'm just interested in how does this person view you? Let's just see that. How do they view you? Wow. We have the perfectionist. So somebody views you as the perfect partner for them. Oh, and the pinup girl. Somebody thinks you're gorgeous. Okay, I feel like somebody feels like you have the perfect body, the perfect physique. Somebody just thinks you're absolutely perfect, Libra. That's how they view you. They may also view you as a perfectionist. So maybe they feel like you pay attention to little things and the details. And maybe some of you could be artists or something like that. Somebody also views you as somebody who actually looks like a pinup doll. Like somebody who's sexually arousing to look at. So they could just stare at you all day and just get turned on. Okay, well, I mean, that's gorgeous. Okay, but thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section. Thumbs up. Bye.